Hello and welcome to another GTA 5 video where today we will be talking about the air freight steel missions which is the only criteria required to get your new toy with a trade price. So for the air freight steel mission or hangar business or whatever you want to call it, first you need to set up the business like all other business but unlike the bunker business or MC business which you just go out and collect your setup, this time you are stealing supplies like the others. And unlike the CEO cargo business, you don't have to pay anything for your cargo, which is a huge advantage. Welcome business partner, this is Ron Tikowski. Damn, damn, I shouldn't say my name. Note to self, edit that bit out. Okay, I prepared this recording to talk you through the basics of our new operation. You'll find all the information you need about stock levels and our holdings on the homepage here. Then, when you're ready to make an acquisition, you hit the source button. Now, you're able to choose what cargo we're hitting here. Now, the deep state doesn't like this. The shadow economy, it's taking tax money away from their pals, the globalist conglomerates. But they make some work harder than the rest. Poisonous, untaxed alcohol and tobacco is easier to go after than Big Pharma's worst enemy. The mind-focusing and totally harmless narcotic stimulants, for example. And during the stealing mission, or whatever you want to call it, you can actually use the new toy that is not out yet or maybe will never be available for sale, which I hardly doubt that due to the fact that will be the chance for Rockstar to make real money from those who doesn't want to work for their GTA 5 money. My impression for the stealing mission is, it's alright. Sometimes it can be very challenging, but like the MC business, some can just be very annoying. For example, in this stealing mission, you have to fly this aircraft almost half of the San Andreas or the entire San Andreas if your hangar is at RSIA to destroy the jammers to reveal the cargo so that you can steal it and deliver it back to your hangar. But with that being said, there will be mission that is quite easy and quite fast which is what I love to see. And don't forget you can run your hangar business as a CEO or a MC president. And like other business, if you have friend to help, you can speed up the process by having more cargo delivered to your hangar at a time. But unlike other business, you can steal no more than 4 cargos even when you are a MC president and you have 4 or 5 people helping you out. My suggestion is not to do the stealing mission on your own as it will take 50 runs to fill up your hangar as you can see that the hangar can hold up to 50 cargos. I recommend to work in teams and help each other out in turn to fill your bunker up as soon as possible. And don't forget that most of the time that you will only have 20 minutes to bring your cargo back to your hangar. Now, when you have decided to sell your cargo, you can go to your office in your hangar and sell them. Once you've got some stock, we can look at making a sale. We're a market-driven business. There'll be good deals for what the buyers out there want at any given time. But the real edge comes when we unload a particular cargo in bulk to a big buyer. They tend to throw in a sweetener. That's it. Now, source some stock and hopefully the program I wrote will erase this audio file from your hard drive. If not, see you in court. Uh, jury! I've got mental problems. I'm a fantasist. I'm running for president. Seems to be similar to the way that we sell our products in the MC business as well as the hangar business. You deliver the cargoes to one or different places or five different places. And as usual, you may have to travel two times or more if you have more cargoes in your hangar. And that also is the time that you can use the Skylift, which is possibly the slowest aircraft in the entire game. And yes, this aircraft may never be available for sale for some reason. During the sale, no one has mentioned that you have delivered all the cargoes to get paid unlike the CEO cargo mission. Okay, sale time. You're using heavy lift choppers to haul the globalists' best friend shipping containers to the exchange. Once the buyer has them, the money will come through. So I'm not sure if you will still get paid if you or the other destroy some of the cargoes. 
I'll keep you up to date as usual, but you don't get bonus if you sell a full hanger of max cargoes. Overall, it's an okay method to make money since you steal your cargoes like the MC business as well as the bunker business, and since MC business will get raid every 5 seconds, I would recommend you to fill up your bunker business, and while you wait your bunker to turn your supplies into stock, you can fill up your cargo in your hangar. Don't forget to go back to your bunker to fill up your supplies around every 90 minutes, or there will be no supplies turning into stock, which means no extra money for you. In conclusion, this air freight steel mission is the mission that you either love it or hate it. 